pose this question to Mr. Ali. First of all, I just want to, you know, commend you on your smooth speaking. You're a very smooth talker. I really admire you. I wish I could speak like you. Okay. But uh, unfortunately, you know, God made me the way I am. But I just want to bring to a point where you seem to be a little bit confused. Because in that seven and a half minutes that you questioned Mr. John, you seem to be having a problem, problem in believing that Jesus was a peacemaker. In that, you said, uh, uh, you know, if a guy wants your cloak, give him another cloak, or a slap, turn your other cheek, and so forth. And so John has answered you promptly on those questions. Okay? Then, you turned around and found sorry, that sorry, there was a problem. Sorry, brother, I need to, I need to intervene here. No, you yes, found there was a no, problem when no, no, Jesus on, came back. Hang on, right? hang on. And, uh, we're, we're not in, a entering into a series of debates. Sorry, sir. Right? Could, could you be precise and specific on the question? Because I'm not going to allow so, um, uh, offensive remarks no, made against both it. speakers. Okay. So just deal with the topic, right. deal with the merits of the discussion, and let's not get emotionally carried away. No, I'm not getting carried away emotionally. It's just that I'm confused, or I don't know whether you are. Oh, confused. Sorry, sorry. What, what's the question? You have. The question is: Do you believe that the Bible is true or is it false? Um, uh, as part of the um, question as well, I also heard, um, uh, you know, do we believe that Jesus was peaceful? And I think I answered that uh, previously. Uh, Muslims believe that Jesus was a man of peace, and uh, Muslims should have no difficulty with the description of Jesus as the Prince of Peace. However, uh, I have tried to indicate also that uh, in, in looking at the New Testament and its presentation of Jesus as the Prince of Peace, there is an undercurrent that indicates that Jesus uh, was the son of David, the Messiah, who would take over and throw uh, off the yoke of Roman rule, which would in involve some uh, degree of, uh, of, of interaction at the military level. And, but of course, he, uh, in, in reading the New Testament, one gets the impression that Jesus was not successful at this yet, and that he will come back uh, for a second time when he will, in fact, institute Roman rule. And his answer to uh, the disciples who asked him in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, uh, he said, it's not for you to know the time and season. So it, it will be done, but not just yet. And the book of Revelation seems to indicate that he will do that. So, so that was one part of the question that I put before uh, John. As for the... Um, the, 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 um, the question, how do Muslims view the Bible? Uh, Muslims believe that the Bible is a, is a good book. It contains many important uh, uh, and sacred teachings. It contains the uh, reports of teachings from many of God's prophets and messengers over time, including Abraham and Moses and Jesus. Uh, these uh, teachings are to be cherished and to be practiced. The Quran says, Let the people of the gospel judge by what God has revealed therein. So Muslims have have a sense that uh, the Bible does contain some truth from God and th that th those truths should uh, be lived and practiced but uh, the Muslim would hesitate to say that the entire Bible is all the Word of God. In fact, on the other hand, there seems to be indications in, in, in the Quran that some parts of the scripture have been changed during the process of transmission. So one has to distinguish between what God has revealed therein and what other people have, uh, wrote, have written therein of their own accord or by uh, following teachings of people who are not deliberately or specifically authorized by God.